Good morning, Manhasset. I'm Blake Seely. And I'm George Hogan. Please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. On June 3rd, the annual Writers Award ceremony took place, where writers from all different grades were celebrated for their contributions. Congrats to all who were recognized. Also, the club fair is last week. I'm here at the club fair. Let's go check it out. Today I'm representing the Phoenix, Manhasset, Secondary Schools, Art and Literary Magazine. The Booster Club caught my eyes, you know, like helping the community and stuff. Uh, I, I really like the puzzle one over there. Oftentimes, eighth graders aren't fully aware of all the different opportunities to become involved in the school, instead opting to stay out of the community. However, clubs are a good place to build your interests, extracurriculars, and a good way to meet new people who might be interested in the same passions. Coordinated by Kate Collard, we spoke to her to see why she wanted to set up this unique opportunity for the eighth graders. Um, so growing up in eighth grade, um, I was the oldest, so I had no idea what clubs um, were available in Manhasset, so I decided when I became president of the Student Senate, um, why don't we create a club fair, because I know a lot of other schools do it. Um, and yeah, it's just to get people informed. We're definitely going to look to do this every year now. Um, hopefully this is a start of a, you know, annual thing. And we're looking to expand it beyond just um, available to upcoming ninth graders. We want to include maybe honor societies in the future for all grades. So yeah. Back to you in the studio. Calling all seniors. The senior schedule came out last week. Be sure to take a look to see the upcoming events until graduation. On another note, remember our Big and Egg and Cheese review from a few weeks ago? That was just the beginning. This time, we took to the streets of Manhasset to find the best pizza slice in town. Let's go. We're here in town, and we're going to be trying three different slices from three different pizza places on Plano Road. First, we're going to Villa Milano, then Alberto's, then Gino's. Let's get into it. We're here with the Villa Milano slice. Let's dig in. Mm. Good slice. Good slice of pizza. You get a better. Nice yeah. crust. You know, I'm going to rate this pretty highly. I'm going to say 8.9. I mean, very, very solid slice of pizza. It's going to be tough to beat that. Very good. Uh, very cheesy. I like it. Also, a good texture in the crust. Now, I'm going to give it a 9, too. Amazing. Amazing slice of pizza. Off to the next look. Another great crust, very crispy. I mean, stacks up great against that that, that Vel Milano slice from earlier. I mean, both two great slices of pizza. I can't really go wrong with either. I'm gonna have to go 8.85. You know, it's really close. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be a little more generous than that. I'll go 8.9. Uh, great, very good slice. Again, yeah, pretty nice crust. You know, not quite as crispy as the last two, but still very good. A little more cheese on this one. You know, can't go wrong with all three. I'm gonna give this one an 8.6. I mean, it's it's really all preference. All three, you can't go wrong with any of them, and I'd recommend all three to anyone. You know, I'm gonna give this one an 8.9 as well. It's really good. That's all the pizza tasting for today. Can't really go wrong with all three of them. Each very unique and different tastes, and good in their own different ways. Back yeah. to you in the studio. Hope that was helpful, guys. That's all we have for today. I'm George Hogan. And I'm Blake Seely. Stay, Stay classy, classy Manhasset. Man.